All right, good morning, team. Jesse here coming at you from Avila Beach, Isma Beach, San Luis Obispo, slow as it's known to us that live here. San Luis Obispo, not San Luis Obispo. Just, you know, in case you needed to know. Uh, I am, uh, uh, after this call, I'm heading out. I'm driving a long way today uh, to head up to Bishop area in uh, the mountains of California. Um, and I will not be with you guys on Thursday and I will not be with you guys on Friday. And of course I'll miss you on Saturday, Sunday. So I will miss you guys. Uh, but I'll be back here with you guys on Monday. So August 28th is my mom's birthday. And, uh, for those of you guys that don't know, my mom passed away last year on May 2nd. Um, tragically just climbing up a ladder, fell off, hit the back of her head and is no longer with us. Um, my mom is, uh, uh, such an, I don't even want to get started with it today because I'll probably lose it holding it together. Um, but what I do want you guys to know is one of the main reasons why Secret is where Secret is, um, is because of her and because of the investments that she's made inside of this company. And we're talking seven figures plus. Um, and uh, if you see Max Savage incorporated on any recognition or any leaderboards or anything like that. Uh, that is my mom and I's business that we purchased together. So MacPherson is my last name. My mom's maiden name is Savage, um, which is pretty dope. So um, it's Mac Savage, uh, which is our corporation, Mac Savage Inc. So if you see that, that's what that is. And uh, the business that we have together that takes care of uh, um, my brother and our trust and all kinds of stuff. Um, so we are taking her ashes where she wanted to be left up at Davis Lake um, and for a ceremony for her birthday on Friday. So it is a five mile hike in at 10,000 feet and I got a 45 pound pack. I am not excited about the hike, um, but I am uh, definitely, uh, my dad was like, it's going to be fun. I was like, it's not, no, no part of this is going to be fun. It's going to be great, but it's not going to be fun is not the word I would use to describe it, but um, I will see you guys back after the weekend. Um, and then my birthday is on Tuesday. So uh, here is my birthday present. Uh, you're going to get promoted. That's what's going to happen. You are getting promoted. You are getting promoted. That's all I want for my birthday. So <laughs> I don't want anything else. I want you to get promoted. That's the only thing that's going to make me happy. So if you don't get promoted, I'm going to have a terrible birthday. So, I mean, it's, uh, it's really a lot of responsibility on you, I know, but I believe you can make it happen. So let's talk about this here today. Um, I, um, I've been doing a, a lot of work with uh, my uh, Japanese organization and they, uh, a lot of uh, women from probably 40 to 60 in that group and a lot of them uh, heavy product users and estheticians um, and people that uh, uh, fell in love with the secret product line. And we were talking about they have a, uh, they had launched the Discover Secret program over there. And I absolutely got excited about this, but I was noticing the recruiting numbers weren't really as high as I was kind of anticipating them to be. And, uh, and I was a little curious about this. So as I was digging in and having conversations, I wanted to talk about recruiting. And so, and for some reason why it feels like in some groups and not this group particularly, um, but in certain groups and certain people have a, a fear of recruiting. Um, and the fear of recruiting stems from what I've noticed over 18 years of building large organizations comes from a few different places. Um, and when I see groups of people literally lean a lot more towards the product line or uh, find it easier, so to speak, to sign up customers than it is to sign up agents uh, or distributors. Uh, there's usually a few key, key reasons why that is. Um, number one is uh, with the product, it's usually much easier to have confidence the results are going to happen for the person who's buying the product. The reason why is because our products have such an instant gratification. How many of you guys know what I'm talking about? Like, it's just a wow, right? There's wow, 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 wow. Like, so there's this level of confidence that goes, if you buy this product, oh my God, I love it. Here's the results that happened for me. In the business side, because the, 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 uh, the results of the business in terms of income are usually a delayed gratification. Meaning, like I said, this isn't buying produce, it's harvesting produce. It's building your orchard, right? It's building your forever produce and where money does grow on trees, right? Your produce does come from trees, right? And that takes a while. So when someone's getting started in the business, introducing someone to the business and saying, hey, this is an incredible business. And they're like, well, how's it going for you? And you're like, 
it's going to be great. Uh, there's a little bit of that hesitancy. And that hesitancy is usually what stops a lot of people from getting started, number one. Number two, a lot of people, when they are introducing people, they feel like they are responsible for the success of their agents. And I can tell you, I have been guilty of this pretty much my entire career. Many of you guys are like, wait a minute, we're not? <laughs> and the answer is no. No, you're not. <laughs> There's only one person <laughs> whose business you're responsible for, and that's your own. That's it. And I know we got a lot of moms on here, and I know I'm uh, probably leaning a little bit more toward the mother, uh, mothering side of building network marketing than the, uh, the fathering side of network marketing, I would say. But at the same time, I want you guys to understand is your only responsibility is to do your business and excellence in front of your team. I want you to write this down in your notes. My responsibility as a sponsor. This is it. Anything extra of this is golden. But this is really your only, in my opinion. Now, you could take it or leave it. You could say Jesse's full of it. Your only real responsibility as a sponsor in secret is to do your business in excellence in front of your team. That's it. That's all it is. Now, there's a couple of the things that are not like your responsibility as a sponsor. It's your responsibility as a human, which is to do what you say you're going to do. You know, follow through with your commitments. Those are some pretty obvious ones that if you start breaking those, you're going to start breaking trust and breaking your relationships. And look, we're not, no, nobody's perfect. Uh, it's not, you're not going to be in integrity the entire time. The question is, is when integrity gets lost or trust gets broken or a promise gets missed, um, do you leave them in the mess or do you go back and clean it up? Okay. So really important. So when it comes to building your business, uh, I'm not going to go into all of the things that I talked about with them. Uh, but what I did want to do is I wanted to open this up because I said, tell me about your love for the product. And they just, you know, they would light up and I would say, perfect. Let's talk about the business. So I'm going to have you guys unmute. If you're in a quiet place, could you unmute for me real quick? And Trish, I'm going to have you take notes on this stuff because I, I don't know why my pen has gone missing. Um, so if you guys could unmute if you're in a quiet place, if you're not, I will have you unmute for a, a minute anyway to fill in some stuff. But I want to talk to you guys about real quick, talk about the reasons to do secret. So let's talk about being a secret agent. Okay. So, and I want you to just, let's spit some off here. What are some of the reasons somebody would join secret? Not buy secret, join secret. So let's, let's create a list. Ready, set go. Who's got one? The one-on-one um, -on -one leadership, like the strategy calls, the strategy calls. So strategy calls, right? So let's write that down. So everybody, you should make this list. It's going to, you're, I'm, I'm telling you, it's going to be a juicy call. It's going to be a good one. So, so the extra calls. money, extra money, write this down, extra money. So what, some, give me another reason why small, big, doesn't matter what it is. Somebody might decide to join secret the concept of the family family community absolutely yeah. so write this uh belonging the uniqueness of our team uniqueness of our team write that down absolutely um how about um uh you could uh, i mean you could expand on that in detail but i might if you were to just kind of sum it up just say how about uh I, um learn uh, uh, attraction marketing training or building a social media business, uh, building a business on learning to build a business online. Mm -hmm. What, what else, what else would somebody join secret or join this team? Give me any reason. Payoff debt. Pay off, pay off debt would be a result of something that you would have, but yes. So, but you could write that mm -hmm. down. So earn, earn income. So earn income to pay off debt. Um, I'd say so, the comp plan. The comp plan is you can leverage your team members' success pretty easily with the comp plan. Compensation plan, yeah, absolutely. So, what are some of the other reasons that someone would do secret? I mean, I know I've had people look at me and go, "The reason I'm doing secret is check match." I mean, that's that's the reason. The rest of the stuff, it's good. I like it, but check match. That's the reason why, because mm -hmm. I understand that if I find good people, I'm going to be compensated heavily. So, what um, what else? I would say the business model is easier to understand than most network marketing companies. So easy business model. Probably. Absolutely. So, right. Now, why else might somebody join secret? Let's just, let's, let's, let's expand this a little bit more. Why else might somebody join secret? Um, they might like the products and just want to buy them for themselves at a discount. 
Exactly. I had to buy products at the cheapest place possible. By the way, just so you guys know, in Asia, one of the things that they do is they look at everything and they go, America is a little bit weird. I don't know if you guys know this. Like, you know, um, and in Asia, they go, what's the cheapest way to buy the product? So you're saying $49 I can get the products all cheaper? Yeah, yeah. There's no like, <laughs> I don't want to be a distributor in a company. You know, like, <laughs> oh no, like there's no fear. Of that. It's like, wait, what's the cheapest way to buy products? Yeah, I'm going to do that. Oh, I buy a pack of products. Oh, that's for business builders. Yeah, but that's the cheapest way to buy the products. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting the whole pack. <laughs> uh, so, um, all right, so getting the products cheaper. Um, how about tax advantages of home-based business? Oh, Write yeah. that down. I had a doctor, I recruited in, uh, in my previous company, I recruited tons of people that made six figures and beyond in their traditional uh, work or employment just for tax benefits, just so they could shelter taxes and write off their products. That was it. They literally had no intention of building the business, but they bought a ton of products so they could write it off and save money on their other businesses. So what else? What else are some reasons? <coughs> Come on, give it to me. Secret gives, you, secret gives you an opportunity not only to not only to move around where you live, but you can go nationwide and be able to expand this to another level. Absolutely. So, learn yeah. this. so build a business outside of your city. If you own a traditional business, if I own, if I have a tattoo shop, I am, my only customers are people that live within my area mm -hmm. that like tattoos. If exactly. even if I'm a, an esthetician and I do facials, and I can only do that with the people in my area. This is a business I can expand outside of my city. Not only that, it's a business I can expand outside of my country. Mm -hmm. What's a reason someone wouldn't want to do secret? <laughs> I can build all over the world. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, how about this one? One of the women said in a Japanese call when I asked her, and she said, um, uh, I, I, it got me around a group of people that helped me get out of my shell. Like I found a new me. And I was like, oh, that's a good one, right? So how about, how about growth? Mm -hmm. How about meeting new people? Write this down. New experiences. Um, the other woman was like, it's fun. I like doing secret because it's fun. So isn't that a reason to do secret? It's fun. No, that's not my saying it's fun all the time. Not all the time, <laughs> right? So, but, oops, what did I do here? Sorry, guys. Hold on. Let me go back to I'm just trying to scroll around and see you guys because I, uh, I don't have my computer up. Um, so <clears throat> fun. What else? What's another reason someone would do secret? You're learning. It's kind of like you're going back to school for free. Education. Free education. Are you yeah. kidding me? I mean, I, freaking A. Are you like, that's one of the things like for me that doesn't get talked about enough and needs to be talked about more because it's like, what is the value of the education? I mean, look guys, a lot of the stuff that I'm delivering to you, I might not be the best at sharing the information. I'm definitely uh, not as good as a lot of the people that taught the information to me, but the stuff, some of the stuff I'm passing on here, I spent over a hundred thousand dollars in education that you get to just listen in on for free. Now, uh, that's not a bad deal. Okay. So now my, and the reason why I do it is because my personal payment, I believe that my payment should be in the compensation from results produced from what I'm teaching. That's what I believe. I don't believe that you should pay me to teach you. I believe I should be paid based on results you create. Cause if you don't create results, then how valuable is the information? If you create results in your secret business, then I get compensated by secret for results you create in your business. That's my mentality on it. Right? So I'm not doing it for free. I know it sounds like I'm sure you know, really like oh, philanthropist. There's things I do for, for, for charity. This is not one of them. This is a for-profit business people. <laughs> so, okay. Now, um, why else would somebody join secret? You can do it with our team from anywhere in the world, from your laptop and your phone. Oh, there's a good one. Do it anywhere in the world from a laptop and a phone. Yeah. Right. The mobility of it. Yeah. So mobility, uh, how about flexibility? Right. So, you're not set, you're not on a scheduled time. You can do it when around your schedule. How about you can do it on the side of an existing career? Most businesses, if you start a business, you can't do it on the side of a career because you, you have to put 80 hours a week into a new business if you're launching a traditional, right? How about, um, 
uh, here's another reason why. Uh, you don't have to do inventory. You don't have to do shipping. You don't have to do taxes. You don't have to have employees. <gasps> Payroll. How about all that stuff? To, you don't have to come up with your own product or service. Yeah. Look, I, you know, I think I'm kind of clever, at least when I like coming up with witty things. But um, am I, I'm not a chemist. You think I'm going to make a, 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 a red line anti-aging line of products, algae from the Dead Sea and fermented patented stuff from Korea? No, no, no. I, I'm not Dr. Cohn. I'm not, I don't know how to make a nutrition product. Um, so you get to leverage on decades of people's experiences in these professions. That's pretty cool. Um, okay. Now, I think we got a few things here. We're going to pivot a little bit here. Um, but I remember asking a group of people this. And Trish, I don't know if you were there when this happened. I was asking a group of people, why, you know, why, why, did you, why did you do Secret? And this one woman raised her hand. I think she was like 60. She was like, I was bored. That's why I joined. <laughs> <laughs> and I was really? like, that's a good reason, isn't it? Sure. Are there people out there that are bored? And they're like looking for something to do. So what do they do? They take up backgammon. They take up knitting. This person took up secret because it was fun. And at least instead of most hobbies, which cost you money, this was a hobby that could make you some money or at least you could make some free products. Do you, so the reason why I'm sharing this is, do you think you had to know every detail of the comp plan for her to join? No. Nope. She didn't care. Yeah. It's not relevant. In fact, most of the things that we just listed here as to why somebody would join secret have nothing to do with explaining the comp plan. Just letting you know, this is where a lot of people get stuck. They believe that recruiting is being better at explaining the plan. I'm telling you it's not, okay? So in fact, what I found out is the more I learned about the plan, the more I tried to explain the plan, the less people I recruited because the more people were confused and had to think about it longer. So I'm just, and some of you guys are probably nodding your head. I can't see you, but I'm assuming you're nodding your head because what I'm saying is really accurate. <laughs> so, uh, but outside of yeah. the recruiting side of this, I want to just kind of pivot a little bit here. And let's talk about not just reasons why someone would do secret. This one woman said, I said, why'd you secret? And she laughed and I said, I'm bored. And this other woman raised her hand. She was like, I do secret to get away from my kids. <laughs> and I was like, it's a good reason. She was like, I just, uh, you know, I, this woman was like, yeah, I just, I, I wanted to be able to put on adult pants, you know, like, Cause you know, she was a mom and she's like, I love being a mom, but I, I didn't want to be just a mom. Now there's nothing wrong with being just a mom. This woman just wanted to have something else outside of that. That's what she was looking for. Mm -hmm. So secret was that. So I hope you guys are starting to realize if we dig into this and we continued, we could come up with hundreds of reasons to do secret yep. hundreds. Okay. It's not a reason hundreds of reasons to do secret. Mm -hmm. your job as a recruiter is not to talk more it's to listen more to mm -hmm. listen to what would be their reason for wanting to do secret chances are it's not only not going to be the same reason for you now it may be similar and if we go through this but um let's uh, uh i'm gonna open this up uh oh, let's pivot a little bit here and add to this list let's talk about you specifically what is it that you love about being in secret who wants to start? The what? Free mentorship and a duplicatable system I can do from anywhere in the world. A free free mentorship yep. and duplicatable system that I can do from anywhere. So yep. write that down. Who else has something? What else? What else? Do you, what, what do you love about being in secret? Mine is the confidence that I have talking to people and knowing that I have a duplicatable system to plug them right into and knowing that if they put the work in, they're going to succeed. Got it. So I, I, the confidence that this company gives me that uh, I have a system that if somebody does the work, they're going to get results. Mm -hmm. Okay. What mm -hmm. else do you love about, what else do you love about secret? So well, talk to me. well, besides the products, I love the camaraderie and the relationships that I'm building and yeah. knowing that with those relationships, I can change other people's lives. Yeah. Change other people's lives. How about here's a reason to do secret is make people feel happy. This one woman said, I have never had clients have their type of experiences with one demonstration than I've seen with secret products. And it makes me happy when I see my customers happy. So she was like, I love doing secret because it makes my, I, I love making people happy. That's a great reason to do secret, right? So what else? Somebody else. I'm, I'm visiting with my um, 
my older daughter and my grandkids. Yeah. And I am writing this whole trip off. And when I go to Israel, I will write that whole trip off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we don't take you vacations anymore. There are business trips, people. Business right. trips. Just wanted you to know. Because mm -hmm. people got skin everywhere. I mean, that's just. So uh, what else? Someone else give me a, something. What do you love about Secret? What do you love specifically? I love the people and it's fun offering this to other people and helping them. And, and I'm like that person who joined network marketing because I wanted something to do. <laughs> wanted something to do. I wanted something to do, right? So, okay. All right. Well, um, when I'm talking to people about it, I, it's the first time in all the time I've worked in network marketing that I really can confidently tell people that this is a great way for you to swap out your current income. I've never had that confidence before. Yeah. yeah. So having confidence and how about having, uh, one of the things I love about Secret is uh, my, my confidence in the longevity of the company or the product line, you know? So there's, and I, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth. There's obviously millions and millions of reasons why yeah. someone could love Secret. And I'm sure there's lots of reasons why you love Secret. The one thing I want you guys to understand when it comes to recruiting is if you're having a difficult time when I ask you, what do you love about secret? Like expressing that it's one of the challenging reasons why it's more difficult for you to recruit than it is to gain a customer. Cause when I ask some of you, what do you love about our products? It's easy for you to rattle it off. Oh my God, the mem for what it did or the wrinkle or the, Oh my God, I love this product. It, it naturally comes out of you. But when I ask you, what do you love about being a part of secret or what do you love about being in secret? If that takes a little bit of time to stir up, I want to change that. I want that to ooze out of you. I want it to just be a part of you. And that's what is really attractive because remember, people aren't buying products or services. They're buying feelings and they're buying identities. People don't buy companies. They, they don't follow companies. They follow people. And although Secret is a company, I'm not following a company. Uh, LLC dot 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 Arizona Corporation, Secret Spa slash Secret Direct. I'm following people, Isaac Ben Shabbat and his family. Mm -hmm. They are the representation of this vision. So I want you to think about it. So I want you guys to ask me, ask me, what do I love about Secret? What do you love about Secret, Jesse? Oh my <laughs> God, where, where do I start? <laughs> so what do I love about it? I mean, are, are you kidding me? Uh, I love the Ben Shabbat family. I love Isaac. I love Moti. I love Shmulek, right? I love Pera. I love all of the brothers. I love Jekyll who went to Israel. I loved that a chance that Secret took me to Israel and I got to float in the Dead Sea. I love the fact that our products are manufactured by the best in the world through L'Oreal. I love the fact that the company sold over a billion, now $2 billion worth of products all over the world in 45 countries before it even went into network marketing. So we knew that people were going to buy the products all over the world. I love that they sold them for twice as much in the retail space as that we're now offering them through network marketing. I love that Secrets Compensation Plan pays out more generously than almost any network marketing company. I love our binary structure. I love the fact that you can just build two teams instead of building 700 teams like I used to have to build. I love the behavior of our plan. I love that you can pay 20 to 30% on our compensation. I love our check match. I love our dream bonuses. I love our, I love we have a red line of products. I love we have nutrition. We have nutrition. I love that we have a new product oh, almost slipped coming up very soon uh, in the nutrition category. I love the development of Secret. I love that Secret is investing millions and millions and millions of dollars in development of future products that aren't even out yet because they're thinking about the future. I love that Isaac is willing to pivot his entire company and transition a Secret Spa where everybody can make money and any product that Secret is selling in all over the world. I love that they do Friday dinners and they open up their home for people. I love that we have a training call like this. I love my team. I love our corporate team. I love Shelly down at corporate. Oh, my God, she puts on the best events, right? I love the people they hire that are outside. I love Novice. She does all of my helping from behind the scenes. And she, Guys, I could go on for hours. Hours. And I didn't even talk about any of the stuff that you guys talked about because I love all that stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I just, I love it, man. I love what we do. I love it. Like, now, does that mean I love every moment of it? No. Are there some times I'm just like, I quit for the day. I just, I'm out. I'm out for the day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yes. Are there times where I was like, God, this is so freaking challenging, you know? Yeah. But that's why it's like, 
part of me loves that too, even though I don't want to admit it because it challenges me to grow and it puts me in circumstances and situations. And I look back on it and I go, man, man, this, this, it's like, you know, it's like God doesn't give you anything that you couldn't handle. And I was like, God, are you sure I could handle all this stuff? <laughs> um, but I, lo I love it. I love the team building. I love, I love this stuff. Now, I don't love it when people quit. I don't. I don't love it when people give up. I don't love it when people have a very different perspective of how, so how, what secret is than I do. You know, I, I, I don't love it when Isaac gave so much of his heart and his soul to somebody. And then those people turn around and say that uh, this company talks about community, but they don't follow through. Oh, it just like, it kills me. It hurts. You, you know what I mean? It hurts. Like, so it's not that there's not hurt. It's not that there's not that, but I love it. I love my fiance. Do I love everything she does? No. <laughs> so, but I love her. She's, I chose her. Like I'm married to secret. That's it. So now the reason why I'm sharing with all of this stuff is I want, I'm not expecting you to have the same type of love and affinity that I have for secret in, because you haven't had all the experiences that I've had. It hasn't been nine years for you. You also haven't had the previous experiences in life that I've had, and you haven't had a lot of the connections that we've had together. Um, but I can tell you that when you can start articulating those things, this list. So when you're talking to somebody about secret and the conversation is coming up about why, why secret? So if I was talking to Ed and I was like, Ed, listen, and I just rattled off this stuff. And you don't have to be psycho like me, you know, I'm not talking about that. But if I just rattled this off and, you know, and Trish, I don't know if you can kind of start from the top of the list yep. and just kind of just go through it and just say, Hey, here's some of the things that I love about secret. And here's some of the reasons that people do secret. Go for it. Let's see what it sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. First of all, I love the one-on-one -on -one leadership. I love the daily strategy calls that we do as a team. I love the extra money. I love the family, the community, the, the sense of belonging that I get. I love the uniqueness of our team. I love that we learn through attraction marketing and I get the training for that. I love that I could be building my business online. I can earn an income to pay off debt. The compensation plan is amazing. I get check match, which is insane. Um, easy business model. I get product discounts. I have tax advantages. I can build anywhere in the world because we're a global company. I, can, I get out of my comfort zone and I'm able to grow. I've met so many new people, had new experiences. I get free education that has been better than most education I paid for. I can work from anywhere. I get flexibility. I don't have to produce the products. They're already there, so I don't have to go out and do that. I get free mentorship. I have a duplicatable system that I am confident about talking to people with because I know they'll succeed if they do the work. I've been able to build great relationships I've been able to change lives. Um, I help people be happy and I get tax write-offs. That's just, the, that's what we have so far. I don't know about you, but sign me up for that deal. <laughs> <laughs> pretty awesome. Right? Doesn't that sound pretty good? I mean, I mean, if you said that to somebody and they could tell that you felt it, how many people are going like this, this is a different decision to make then basically going, hold on a sec. Let me make sure you understand how the cycle of the 300, 600 of the CV with the QV match up <laughs> with your team, you know, cause that's not the reason it's not, it's not. Right. Okay. So I want you guys to take this list. I want you to talk about this list. I want you to feel this list and I want you to be this list. Um, and most of you are. Um, so it's not that, but I want you to have the confidence to talk about it. Now here's what's exciting you can be confident about where you're going before the results have shown up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in recruiting, the reason why most people can sell a product more than they can sell the business is because they got the results of the product faster than they got the results in the business that they want. So, but you can sell progress on the way to the destination. So I got started. Here's what's happening so far and I'm on my way and I'm so excited. Here's where I'm going. And I'm confident that I'm going to get there. Now, does everyone need to believe you? No, you're not going to bat a thousand anyway. But I can tell you, if you start putting these things out and letting people know why, this is why for me, it's almost impossible 
for me to get just a customer. Like I've recruited well over 200 people into secret. I think I might've enrolled four or five customers. Now that is not what I want everyone to do, but it's a, it's a problem I have. It's a problem. The problem that I have is I love secret so much and being an agent so much that it's really difficult when you get around me to not find a reason that you should want to join too. And what find a reason. I believe that whether you build the business and become wildly successful or whether you dabble in it a little bit and make a little bit of money or you just get some free products, I believe the quality of your life will improve by being associated with this company and being associated with these leaders mm -hmm. as it was for me. And if that's the belief, mm -hmm. why wouldn't you do it? What do you got to lose? If, we, if the quality of life can be better because of being a part of this company, come join us. Discover what Secret can do for you. So that's our conversation for today, guys. I will see you guys on Monday. I'll turn it over to your fearless leaders to bring, bring some truth bombs to you on Thursday and Friday. And uh, let's go out there and let's change some more lives. Oh, Hawaii. Hawaii. Um, let's do that. Hold on one sec. Um, let's stop the recording. I can write it down if you want, Jesse. Yes, please. That's going to be great. And recording. by the way, Jesse, that was beautiful. 